unlikely things to hear at Christmas. In the current financial market, a dog is not just for Christmas, it's for Christmas dinner. <laughs> Dear Santa, thank you very much for my Super Soaker 500. I'm now the best armed British soldier in <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> Bad news, I'm afraid. Santa didn't realise it was an eco-house and he's been sliced to pieces by the wind turbine. <laughs> Have you been a naughty boy this year, Tommy? Would you like to be? I've got money. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems ironic, really, doesn't it? Uh, we buy a non-drop Christmas tree and then this happens to Grandad. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> A grain of rice for Christmas. Thanks. Thanks, Uncle Ben. <laughs> <laughs> now we are all familiar with <laughs> Grandma's charade of basic instinct. <laughs> TV back on. <laughs> Why is your nose so red, Rudolph? Because I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have thought the retail sector would have found some way to monetize this festival. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Jack, we didn't know whether to get you a toy or a pet, so we've compromised and bought you a rattlesnake. <laughs> hey, great! New socks! I'm off for a wank! <laughs> I remember... I remember when I stopped believing in Father Christmas. The year he abused me. <laughs> I was hiding in a sock and Andy did something weird. <laughs> Daddy, I, I ripped up one of my presents too quickly and it was a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I discovered last night that your father has been having an affair. One of the chipolatas might taste a little bit strange. <laughs> Last night, Santa emptied his sack in our room. <laughs> Which is why I'm leaving your mother. <laughs> this Christmas, I've decided to keep my Christmas broadcast short and sweet. Piss off. 